Good evening, people. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Teacher, hoy estaré únicamente de oyente. Estoy bastante malo de salud. Lo siento. Ok, ok. ¿Quién fue el que habló? ¿Quién no vi? José Abel. José Abel. Ok. Good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Okay, people, let's get it started tonight. I'm going to take the first attendance of the evening. Okay, Alba Janet Jimenez, cameras on, please. Present teacher. Present teacher. Good, welcome. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Uh, 
Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Consuelo Saraí Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Eric Edenilson Escobar. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Eric Jose Hernández. Present teacher. Fanny Judith Palacios. Fanny Judith. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Herman, welcome. Um, tonight the personal session is with you Herman, okay? Okay, thank you. No problem. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Okay, good. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Uh, Jose Miguel Massa. Present teacher, present tonight. Okay. I'm not good afternoon, but I'm sorry. No, good evening. Ah, yes, no. Lo siento. No problem. Good evening. Karina Elizabeth mm. Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, people, turn on your cameras. Don't be seen. No se les va a gastar el rostro. Magdiel Esaú García. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay, good evening and welcome. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Yeah. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Um, Wilber Alberto Pérez. Uh, William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Present. Um, and Henry Alberto Pérez. Here I am, teacher. Hey, welcome. Teacher Buenas Carlos noches, Pérez, teacher. Present. Andrea Sofía Benítez, también present. Okay, Andrea Sofía. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Fanny Judith. Pedro Alexander. Uh, 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 Wilber Alberto. And yeah. Okay, very good. Since that is at work, Karina. Okay, Karina. So we have um, just attending Karina and Jose Abel. Okay. Very good. Let's get started then. Uh, last night you were making sentences about what about your company, right? Here.
Okay, I asked you to write sentences like these about your company. Yes, remember? Did you do it? I hope you did it. Um, for example, let me write something about English corporate. At S or or we um, provide a land uh, each. And we are in the education for example at inglés cooperativo we provide excellent education um, in in english language we are in the education industry that's a couple of sentences to define or describe the English corporativo expertise and the industrial classification. Now, yeah. well, here they want you to talk about the location and where the company operates. Hey, let me continue with that. Um, our health water is in San Salvador. But uh, we operate all over the country online. Now, for example, so this is something about English Corporativo. Yes, so I say. At Inglés Corporativo, we provide excellent education in English language. We are in the education industry. Our headquarter is in San Salvador, but we operate all over the country online. Basically, okay. You can talk about the headquarter of your company. And if you have branches, you can mention it, right? So I will give you um, five minutes to write a brief a couple of sentences about your company in this way, okay? Go ahead, please take your time to write a couple of sentences about me. I'm going to oh is Okay, I will put this in WhatsApp. So if you want to use this model or watch it, use it as a guide.
things what's happening. Okay, you have the model in WhatsApp. Work on that, please. So I'll give you five minutes to write two or three sentences about you. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I'm late. The last activity of uh, last night's class, which is uh, you have to write a new, uh, couple of sentences about your company, describing the the industry of your company and you can see a model what's up okay
Okay, please raise your hand if you are ready. One. Teacher, how many lines we are do? It's two or three, that's it. Okay, thank you. Two, only two already? Three. A hey, couple more minutes only. Four, five. Teacher. Yes. Yeah, I have a question. Huh? Uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, the exercise I have two is seven. Uh, Cry one conversation. No. Oh. Uh, I asked you to write a sentence like this. I gave you a model about English corporativo where you describe your company. That's it. Just a couple of sentences where you talk about the industrial area of your company. Uh, products or service and the location. So you can follow the model I did about English corporate. Put you the model in WhatsApp already. Okay, I will send you to to work in small groups. Uh, first, I want you to to talk about your your information, your sentences about your company. Okay, in your group, so you can talk about your company. Okay, in my company, 
almacenes Simán, almacenes Simán, we provide and furniture and appliances of high quality to our customers. We are in the furniture uh, industry. Our, our headquarter is in San Salvador and uh, we have three branches. Okay, so please. Let's Okay, go to your groups, please, and talk about your companies. Describe your company.
Okay, welcome back. I hope you share about your company. I'd like to hear some of you, okay? So let me start with Blanca. Blanca, can you tell me about your company? Yes, teacher. Okay. I work at Grupo Monge. At Grupo Monge, we provide excellent work environment. We are in the commercial industry. Our headquarters is in Costa Rica, but we operate in Central America and have many branches in El, in El Salvador. Wow, perfect, very good. Thank you. Excellent, Blanca, thank you. Okay, let's continue with Andrea. Okay, uh, at Mobiliari, this company with very high quality and very committed to each client to deliver excellent construction. Our headquarters is in San Salvador. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Sarai. Sarai. Microphone, Sarai. Sorry, in Almacenes Tropigas, we are dedicated to sell of various products and appliances. Being one on, of the commercial preferred by customers, due to the ability to respond to credits and excellent customer service. It also has the 74 branch throws the country. Wow, 24, a lot. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Zarahi. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see, Raul. Hi, teacher. Hi. I work in, in a major office of San Paulo, Takachico. There are no branches. It is a single building, and then we collect access, help given to people, and need it. Uh, the, the projects are carried out to develop the municipality. That's it. Okay. Very good. Very good. Um, how is called the building? where the mayor works, people. Anybody knows? What is the name of that, the building where the mayor? City Hall. City Hall, yes. The City Hall. Okay. Let's continue with um, Karina. Oh, Karina is at work. I'm sorry. No. Um, Wendy Lisette. I work at Pronto BPO. We provide customer service quality. We are in call center industry. Our headquarter is in Guatemala but we have a branch in El Salvador. Okay, perfect, very good. Uh, now let's see, Erika Danielson. Okay, teacher. At Global Pay Solution, we offer excellent service technology. We are in the technology industry. Or head quarter is in San Salvador, but we working all over the country and for Panama. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see to here. Jose Massa. Hi, 
Uh, sí, ahorita voy. Deme un segundo, teacher, que aquí lo tenía. Uh, no, no es muy largo, es cortito, pero. No problem. Uh, the, uh, we as a unicorn group are leaders in the sales of household applicants in the country and in Central America. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Herman. Okay. Uh, at, at Pollo Real, we provide excellent food for most representatives is rough chicken in, in fair a fire plane. We are in the food industry or her water are in San Salvador, San Salvador, and we have nice, nice restaurant in, in around San Salvador. Ah, okay. Hey, I'm a, I am a client of Pollos Real. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> in a discount. <laughs> Okay, Wendy Maricela, tell us. How did that teacher? Is my colleague de Central America, on the trabajo? Where high quality products, such as spices, sandwich spread. Mayonnaise are produced, prepared monster um, is made. A is in the States. It has also a Central American level where it has quality products and cares about pudding, pudding, a special toast on the favorite, uh, this is of Salvador, Sal, no sé cómo se dice, pero, Salva, Salvadoreño? Salvadorian. Salvadorian families. Finish. Okay, perfect. Good brothers, I am client as well. Yeah. Okay, and here. Okay, Wilbur. Okay. Uh, let me search. At the security, we help you to stay safe. We are in the security industry. The headquarters are in London and the United States. They have around about 2030 buildings around the world. That's all. Hey, interesting. Pretty good. William. Okay. Uh, Group IGS, we are creators of the first quality. Sickness. We are in the field of advertising. Our headquarters is in San Salvador. We operate in the San Miguelito. Okay, perfect. Eric Jose. At the Global Play Solution. Uh, we provide sales of balance for telephone and house service of payment bills. Uh, we are in the technology industry. Uh, our headquarters in San Salvador. Uh, we operate all online and the country and Panama. Okay, Alba, Janet. Oh, yeah, a moment, teacher. Okay. 
municipal of Aguachapan is a semi-autonomous body, the public administration sector, the service provided can mention with certificate, municipal solvency, uh, etc. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Jennifer. At outstanding, we approved system quality very good. We are company innovation. Our headquarters is in Sal Salvador, but we work with other company country. We are software industry. Okay. Henry. I work for Claro El Salvador. Uh, at Claro El Salvador, we provide telecommunication service. We are in the telecom telecommunication industries. Our headquarters is in San Salvador. Uh, two buildings, uh, administration headquarters and, uh, and business headquarters. And we have many branches along the country. Very good. Carlos? I work in FIAES. At FIAES Finance Project of Environment. We are in the international entities and organization sector. We have headquarters in Santa Tecla and four branches in the country. FIAES is Environment Fund of El Salvador. FIAES is seen as finance mechanism for nature and conservation. Also, we are recognized as an organization transparency in the use fund. FIAES is perceived as finance are for restoration. Uh, we are agency cooperation for environment projects. Now, we are doing the strategic plan by next five years. Hello, teacher. Okay. No, a mí me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Hi, classmate. I work in General de Equipos Company. We offer products and services, and we are the automotive industries. We are three branches in El Salvador. We are in San Salvador City, one in Sonsonate, another is in San, in San Miguel. Our headquarters is in Peru. We currently provide to maintenance and repair service to Caterpillar machines. Okay. Only, only the job. Interesting. I didn't know that the headquarters were in Peru. Yes. Okay. And Jose Abel. Good evening, everyone. Okay. Um, at Global Pay, we promote and encourage technological modernities in a small store. We are officially located in San Salvador with sales in all Salvador and Panama, and with headquarters in Panama and later in Mexico. We are in the technology industry only. Perfect. Okay, people, very good, very good. Good job. 
Okay, I'm going to take the second attendance of the evening. Please be ready to respond. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Okay, Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Okay. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Enrique Denilson Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Fanny Judith Palacios. No. Herman Enrique González. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Present. Good. Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Jose Miguel Maza. Present. Good. Karina Elizabeth Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Magdiel Esaú García. Present, teacher. Good. Pedro Alexander Osorto. No. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present, teacher. Okay. Wendy Lisette Gómez. Present. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. Good. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Okay. And Henry Alberto Perez. Present teacher. Perfect. Very good. Okay. This next lesson. Screen here. Okay. In this lesson, you will be able to introduce personal providing information about their position. Quickly, I'm going to read a conversation here. The situation is this. Miss Tate arrives to a restaurant. Miss Tate arrives to a restaurant. She is going to train the personnel. She will train, she's going to train the personnel. Mr. John, the owner uh, welcomes her, okay? So Miss Tate is going to train the personnel from the restaurant. And Mr. John is the owner. Uh, he welcomes uh, Miss Tate. That is the situation. So listen to the conversation. I'm going to read it first. And I will record it. I will record it in WhatsApp. Let me see. Teacher, trying is like uh, capacitar. Yes, exactly. OK. Listen. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. 
Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay. One more time. Listen. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. And this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Practice. Repeat after me, please. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. Yes, yes I, am. I am. Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the Hi. trainer. Nice to meet you. I'm Miss Tate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. Hello. Hello. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. And this is Leo. It's Mario. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. And this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice, nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. Nice meet what, you. Do you? what do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Nice to meet you. Nice in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. What is Nisa? She's in charge of purchases. Okay. Good. Now uh, I will send you to work in pairs. I want you to practice the conversation. And after practicing the conversation, well, actually, that should be in groups of four, because there is, uh, there are four people in the conversation, Tate, Mr. John, Mario, and Leo, four people. So you can take turns. Okay, pueden turnarse para dar los diferentes papeles de la conversación. And you have to complete these questions. Okay. Please complete the questions and respond the question. Have to complete the question and respond the questions according to the conversation. Four people per group. Okay, join your groups, please, and practice the conversation. And 
uh, complete the questions and respond the questions. Teacher. Yes. Podría dejar habilitado para compartir pantalla. Oh, sure, sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, join the groups, please.
Okay, people. Um, how can we complete this question? Could you please write question number one in the chat. What is the complete form of question number one? Please write question number one in the chat. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Hey, the question, yes. What does Mario do? Okay, and the answer, what is the answer to this question? He's what does branches manager? Is Branch manager. Branch manager. Branch manager. Is that correct, people? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. Now write question number two, please, in the chat. Write question number two in the chat. What did you do, Leo? Oh. Write question number two in the chat, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that, you're right. But I want you to write the question. Chat. Okay. Some people write it, write it, write it. Ah, uh, do you? Two. Perfect. And what is the answer for that? Oh. Mm. Is in charge of the kitchen stuff? Well, but the question is what do you do? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. I am in charge of the kitchen stuff. Yes, I'm in charge. Perfect. And question number three, write it in the chat, please. Write the question in the chat. Question number three, write it in the chat. Okay. What does Nisa do? What is the answer to this? Uh -huh. She is in charge of purchases. Okay, good. Very good. Let's take a look to this note about the use of personnel and staff. What is the difference between personnel and staff? Well, we are going to use personnel with plural verbs. We're going to use personnel with plural verbs. Personnel is a plural word. Example, all personnel are trained to provide first aid. Are, all personnel are trained, plural. The other example, the personnel at the plant 
are certified. The personnel of the plant are certified. So the word personnel is a plural word. And staff, staff, okay? Use staff followed by a singular or a plural verb. Okay, for example, the staff work 40 hours a week. If we use work, it's a plural verb. Or the staff works 40 hours a week. Works is singular. Our kitchen staff follow plural or follows, singular, the Ministry of Health regulations. So we can use staff either with singular or plural verbs. Right? Entonces, staff puede ser un sinónimo de personal, pero personal no es un sinónimo de staff. They are synonyms, but Personal is a plural word all the time. Y yeah. estas funcionan en ambas, en ambas, eh, yes. en ambas situaciones. Yes, okay. we can use a staff singular with a singular verb or with a plural verb. Teacher. Yep. If I talk about the uh, staff, I talk about the department or something. No, you're talking about the people. The people that work in in your company or in your department. So staff is the is the group of people that work that company. Okay. Teacher and personal is used with only with verb B. Uh, Oh, we can see, we'd say personal follow. Uh, for example, we can change staff for personal. This sentence, sentence number in, in, in. Okay, let me use staff instead of personal. Now, personal work. 40 hours yeah. personal work 40 hours or oh, our kitchen staff follow the Ministry of Health Regulation. The difference is that work is correct but works it's incorrect. Works is incorrect. Personal. Okay. Any other question? No sé si me doy a entender con esto. No entendí. No, tampoco, dicha. So if you see, I use the same sentence, but with personal. Changing staff, cambié staff for personal. Como dice que personal solo se usa con verbos plurales, verbo sería work. No works. Recuérdense que O agregamos S a los verbos solo cuando es tercera persona singular. He or she. ¿Ya? Yes. Básicamente eh, son las mismas palabras, mismo significado con el, la variante de, del verbo. 
Exacto, es que la palabra uh, personal es una palabra plural, siempre. Hay palabras en inglés que siempre se usan en plural. Por ejemplo, eh, eh, no tienen celular. Mencionarle otro ejemplo de palabras. People. No, people es el plural de person. ¿Ya? Pero palabras como scissors. Children. Children es el, el plural de child. No, es un buen ejemplo. Pero tijeras. Scissors. ¿Verdad? Esa es una palabra que siempre va a ser plural. No puedo decir one scissor, two scissors. No. Eso no existe. Scissors es una palabra plural siempre. Tijeras. Entonces, eh, yo no puedo decir... Uh, The scissors cuts very well. No puedo decir eso porque cut, con ese, cut, es, eh, está en singular, cut. Solo se le agrega ese a los verbos cuando los conjugamos con ella. ¿Se acuerda? Ah. Entonces tengo que decir the scissors cut. No cuts. Sí, es similar a pantalones. Pantalones es ah. a ley plural, ¿verdad? Exacto. ¿Verdad? Pero con la palabra eh, staff eh, personal yo puedo jugar, por decirlo así, la misma oración para los dos, pero siempre tengo que variar solamente el verbo. Sí, saber que no la puede usar con singular, con un verbo en singular, personal. Ok, eso es todo. Gracias. El staff, sí, puede usarlo con verbos en singular o en plural. Más. ¿Ah? Ok. Well, we have to focus on this part, which is information questions, okay? Information questions in the simple present. So these are information questions. What do you do? What does the girl over there do? Estas son information questions. In simple present. Porque son preguntas, ¿verdad? Estas son information questions. Son preguntas donde se nos solicita cierta information. No se responde con yes or no. Se responde proporcionando the information. Information questions. Veamos estos ejemplos. What do you do? What department do you supervise? What department do you supervise? What branch does she manage? Where does your company manufacture? What unit do you oversee? Who do you report to? Todas estas son information questions in simple present. Ok. Si observan esto, todas estas preguntas. Ya. Respondámonos esto. Completemos esta, esto. To ask information questions in the simple present, in the simple present tense. ¿Con qué comenzamos? Begin with a WH phrase or a subject. ¿Con qué comenzamos la pregunta? Con una WH phrase 
por WH word, que es lo mismo, o la comenzamos con un sujeto. De acuerdo a todos estos ejemplos. ¿Qué comienza? WH. Yes. Wait, WH. Con WH phrase o word. Con la frase, ¿verdad? De w -U, o la palabra WH, ¿no? Que son las palabras de pregunta. What? What brand? Una WH phrase. Where? WH word. What unit? WH phrase. Who? WH word. Con eso las comenzamos. Seguido por. Followed by. Do or does or the subject. ¿Qué va después? Do, do or, does. or does or the subject. Definitely do or does. Sí. Eh? What do? Which de what department do? A branch does? Where does? What you need do? Who do? Or do. Eh? Luego, y sigue después. Acá, do or that. Plus, the verb or the subject. Vean los modelos, que es lo que sigue. The subject. The subject. Definitely the subject. That is next. What do you do? Does she, does your company, y finalmente, add, agrega, the base form, la base, eh, la forma básica del verbo, o la forma con S o ES del verbo. Es lo que sí. Base form. The base form. Yes, terminamos con the base form of the verb. Okay. What do you, the base form, do? A department do you supervise? A branch does she manage? Where does your company manufacture? What unit do you oversee? Who do you report? Okay. Entonces, ese es el orden de este tipo de preguntas. Okay. Lo primero es the W H race or Order. Followed by do or that. Plus the subject. Finally, base form of word. Okay, es la estructura de las information. ¿Alguna pregunta? Entonces, veamos. Tenemos que, que escribir las preguntas para estas respuestas. Tenemos acá, la respuesta es Marta manages the sales department. Es la respuesta. Marta manages the sales department. Y hay que hacer una pregunta con el verbo manage. Entonces la pregunta es. What department does Marta manage? What department does Marta manage? Okay. 
Martha manages the sales. Continue then with the other five questions, okay? According to the sentence, using the verb in parentheses, create the question following these orders, siguiendo este orden, right? Hagamos la number two. Escríbame la number two en el chat, pero con mensaje directo. No donde todos lo pueden ver, sino un mensaje directo a mí. Donde dice to everyone. No. Busquen mi nombre y mándenme lo que Bien, Carlos. A ver, lo demás, la número dos. Okay, Wilbur. Uh, no, Eric, no es en tercera persona. Mira, la respuesta es I supervise. Entonces, ¿cómo le preguntaste? Te dice, si él te responde, yo. Uh, Andrea. Mm, no. Y la respuesta es, I. William Alexander, correcto. Uh, no. Henry. No me mezcles is con, no me mezclen is, el verbo to be, con el auxiliar do. No con be. A ver, Blanca, hay un do de más. Deben de saber de, de cuál es. Y falta algo en la frase de pregunta. Eh, Eric, va a estar mejor, pero te falta el subject. ¿A quién le estás preguntando eso? Eric Danielson. Ok, teacher. Uh, a ver, Fanny. Ahí se lo mandé. Uh, with the subject. A ver, sí, pero no. Porque es una, lo estás poniendo como una autopregunta, Eric. Y alguien te lo está preguntando y tú respondes yo. Entonces, ok. Bien, Eric José, Jennifer. Ok, le podría agregar todavía eh, a, la, a la what, a ser más específico. Jennifer. Blanca. Como en el ahora, ejemplo. teacher. Como, ah, ok, ahora sí, Erika. Ok. Ah, muy bien, Blanca. Ajá. Ok, voy a escribir ya. Ya les di tiempo a... Uh... Bueno, a ver, se me complicó mucho, Jennifer. 
Ay, Raúl, me ha puesto la respuesta en la pregunta. What department do you supervise? What department do you supervise? I supervise the maintenance department. Bien, pasemos a la number three. A ver, escríbame por favor. Ahí siempre en mensaje directo. Number three. La respuesta es Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. Uh, Uh, a ver, a uh, unit, tenemos una unit, Carlos, William le falta el auxiliar. Muy bien, Edenilson. A ver, Carlos, la pregunta no es a Claudio. La pregunta no se la están haciendo a Claudio. Ok, Arturo, tal vez hay que especificar más al principio la pregunta. ¿Qué exactamente le está preguntando? William, el orden, William, el auxiliar no va ahí. Uh, no, no es, no es where. William. Yes, do. A ver, Fanny no le está preguntando directamente a él. La respuesta. Ok, Henry, eh, pero el verbo que hay que usar es otro. Miren, está entre paréntesis. Henry. Tal vez especificar más el, en la pregunta. Ok, ok. Carlos, ok, está mejor. Pero para ser más concreto, usemos el nombre de persona, ¿no? Está preguntando okay. por esa persona. Hasta la cuarta le voy a pegar, Ticha. <ríe> ok. Muy bien, William. Ajá. Pero el verbo en su forma básica, William. Ojo ahí. No lo ha puesto en tercera persona. Ay, Blanca, Blanca, esa última palabra no va ahí. Error de parte, dedo, es parte de la pregunta. Muy bien, Magdiel. Uh, no, Andrea, por ahí no va. Muy bien, Raúl, Magdiel. Ah, el verbo, cuidado el verbo, Magdiel. Ahora sí, Carlos. Uy, se me ha bastante bien. Ok. Where? No, no es where, Eric. Henry. A ver, especificamos más ese what. What? ¿Qué? 
I swear are we? Uh, el orden, acuérdense el orden que acabamos de ver, que va primero, que va después. Blanca, por ahí va, solo específicame más en el what, de qué estamos hablando. Bien, William. The branch, branch. Uh, ese branch no va ahí, Claudia. No, oh, es blanca. Es parte de la palabra de pregunta. Bien, muy bien. Ok, vamos a ver. Voy a escribir. Recuérdense que hay palabra de pregunta y frase de pregunta. Entonces, en este caso estamos haciendo una what branch. Es la frase de pregunta. What branch? Auxiliar. Das. Eto. Claudio. Verbo. Oversee. Ese es el orden. What branch does Claudio oversee? Sigan esa estructura y no nos perdemos. Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopá. Number four, the assemblers report to the supervisor. Report to, es el verbo que hay que usar. Ah, esta está complicadita, pero yo, a ver, vamos a ver. Ok, pero especifiquemos ese day, porque eh, yo sabemos de qué estamos hablando por la respuesta que tenemos, pero... Vamos de quién estamos hablando, Carlos. Ok. Uh, Wilbur, por ahí va, pero falta el auxiliar. Ok, Henry. Muy good. Okay. Wilbur. Recuerde que es plural. Assemblers. Palabra de pregunta. Gordas. Sujeto. Verbo. Cualquier otro complemento. Bien, muy bien, Carlos, muy bien. Uh, 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 no, no, Raúl, estamos hablando del supervisor. A ver, a ver, a ver, assemblers, no es ese el auxiliar, Eric. Assemblers is plural. Eric José y Erika de Nilsson. Erika de Nilsson, si usa pronombre, ¿verdad? No se usa el nombre, o sea, está usando un pronombre que sustituye al nombre y a la vez está usando el nombre, el sustantivo. Uno o lo otro, y en este caso es preferible el, el sustantivo. No nos están preguntando qué, sino a quién, Blanca. Ok, Nilsson, solo te falta al final. Tú. Exacto. Consuelo, no, no va por ahí. How? Jennifer no es how. ¿Cómo? ¿Es a quién? De Nilsson, me cambiaste el auxiliar.
Blanc, el auxiliano ahí. Let's see the order. ¿Ah? Los, los ensambladores se reportan al supervisor. Ok. Entonces, who? The subject is the assemblers. It's plural. Por lo tanto, vamos a usar do. Who, después del auxiliar, el, ver, el sujeto. Who do the assemblers? Fue el verbo report to. Who do the assemblers report to? Es el mismo orden. La pregunta, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo. Palabra de pregunta, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo. Lo mismo. Okay, people, it's time to stop here. Try to finish number five and six. Okay. We'll check them tomorrow. Let's see. Let's take the last attendance of the evening. Alba Janet Jimenez. Present teacher. Hey, have a good night. Good night. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present teacher. Hey, good night. Carlos Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Good night. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Erika Denilson Escobar. Present, good night teacher. Good night, Eric Jose Hernandez. Thank you, sir. Good night. Okay, good night. Fanny Judith Palacios. Present, teacher. Okay, good night. Herman Enrique good night. González. Present, teacher. Okay, please don't go. Jennifer Lisset Aquino. Jennifer Lisset. Present, good night. Good night. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jose Miguel Maza. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Karina Elizabeth Hernández. Uh, Mandiel Esaú García. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Señor Alexander Osorto. Raúl Arturo Esquivel. Present teacher. Good night. Hey, good night. Uh, Wendy Lisset Gómez. Present teacher. Hey, good night. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Good night. Hey, good night. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Okay, good night. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. And Henry Alberto Perez. Here I am, teacher. Okay, people. <clears throat> Thank you for attending today. See you tomorrow. Have a good See you night. tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Herman, do you have any question? Something you would like to report? Um, I have a lot of questions. Well, no. Dudas. So, algunos. Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, por la uni, con la unidad 1, eh, unas cosas que casi no las comprendí, pero cuando hice la, las, las actividades, sí, ya un poquito fui entendiendo, de modo que 
de lo que tenía que hacer, va. Eh, ahorita no, no, no he trabajado la unidad 2, pero yo, yo voy a ver si me quedo trabajando esta noche para, para avanzar. Bueno, tú dime. Eh, me podría dar una media explicación sobre eh, los podos y voy en voy a escribir. Ah, ok. Ok, eh, bueno. Vaya, la Pussy Boys. Pussy Boys eh, se utiliza cuando el el énfasis de la, de la oración no está en la persona que hace la acción, sino en la acción misma. Al punto que a veces no es necesario mencionar a quien hace la acción. Puede prescindirse. ¿Ok? Eh, ¿Cómo se forma? Bueno, la estructura de la fase voice es sujeto. Luego vamos a utilizar siempre el verbo to be. De acuerdo al tiempo que querramos. ¿no? El verbo to be es el que determina eso. Uh -huh. Y luego el verbo principal se utiliza en pasado participio. ¿Ah? En, este, en este tema es bien importante lo de saber lo de las conjugaciones de los verbos en los tres tiempos. ¿no? Conocerlo. Sí, sí, pero acá solo vamos a trabajar con el presente. En el libro, en esta lección, solo se trabaja el presente del verbo to be. O sea, is, am, are, is. Uh -huh. Básicamente. ¿Ah? Entonces, teniendo la... Y acá les mostré yo este cuadrito para que vieran eso, ¿verdad? De que es el verbo to be el que determina tiempo. Por ejemplo, el presente. A salad is made. Una ensalada está hecha o es hecha. Si sí, yo quiero mencionar por quién, quién la hizo, usamos lo que se conoce como una by phrase. O por mí. Asal, una ensalada es hecha por mí. Sí, leyéndolo, traduciéndolo a piedra. ¿Ok? okay. El pasado, ¿ves? El verbo que pasado. Was. El futuro, el verbo to be va a estar en. Entonces, la clave es el verbo to be y el verbo principal en pasado participio. Estructura. Ok. Eh, eh, por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, en el past perfect es have. En had been. As Ali has been made. Sí. Ahí, ahí, ahí el verbo to be es been o también el have está en participio o como. Tendría que explicarte qué es el past perfect. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Para el... No tenemos tiempo. ¿No? Sí. Ahora sí, ya Esta es la por... forma del verbo to be en pasado perfecto. Al uh, ah, sí, pero sí, le entiendo más o menos que eh, como si el verbo to be es el que define. Exacto. Bien. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero por ahora, como te digo, nos enfocamos en el presente. Ok. Ya. Ahora, lo que yo decía, para entender un poco cómo funciona la passive voice, ¿verdad? 
Una cosa es la voz activa, donde en la active voice, lo más importante es el sujeto. ¿Quién hace la acción? I sing the song. ¿Ya? Entonces, I es, es, es el énfasis está ahí. Yo canto la canción. El énfasis está en la persona, no en la acción. Yo. Pero acá el énfasis no está en la persona. The song is sung by me. La canción es cantada por mí. ¿Eh? Cambia el énfasis. Es la misma idea, ¿verdad? pero el énfasis está en otra cosa. Correcto. ¿Sí? Y ahí todo, todo lleva el, ver, el verbo to be y el, el verbo en participo. El verbo. Como Sí. No solamente el tiempo presente. Exacto. Sí, ya, ya le comprendí. El texto es presente. Mm. Ah, hicimos algunos ejercicios donde había que agregar aquí el verbo to be y el pasado participio. Paréntesis. Ahí sería is bow o algo así, va. Porque Exacto. tercera persona. Exacto. Oh. The new printer is bought by the company. Uh -huh. Fíjate, oh. en estas sí se menciona quién hace la acción. Se utiliza una by phrase. Uh -huh. okay. By the company. My car is repaired, is repaired by the mechanic. Es relevante mencionar quién lo hace. Ok. The machines oper are, aquí sería uh, are, plural, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Operated by the operators. Ok. Es relevante se menciona Pero acá, por ejemplo, bueno, no hay esa by phrase. Se menciona. The office is cleaned. Every day at 7 a.m. En este caso, ¿quién lo hace? No nos interesa. Uh -huh. Por eso no lleva la by phrase. Pero como ves, en todas siempre va a usarse el y el verbo principal en pasado. Is Sí. Ok. Está bien, teacher. Factory is open. Open. Esto es la pasión. Sí. Sí, hoy sí lo comprendo más. Thank you, teacher. Ok. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Night. You too, her son. See you. Good night. See you. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.